Oh. Today we're going to learn compositions of functions. Um, a composition of function is basically is combining two functions to form a composition, which is basically one whole function. of one function with another. So it looks complicated, but it really isn't. So in other words, if you're given, if you're given f of x equals x cubed and g of x equals x plus three, you're trying to find f of g of x, which is your unknown. So basically what you do is f of g of x equals f x plus 3, and you replace your x with, you replace the x of this with your g of x, which is x plus 3, so this is your g of x, and then this whole thing equals x plus 3 cubed. So basically, this goes into that, and you, and you cube it. So basically, you're replacing x for g of x. It says to find f of g of x when f of x is the square root of x, and g of x is x minus 2. And if possible, find f of g of 6. So we first, we have to rewrite the problem, so f of g of x equals f, and we're going to substitute g of x, this, for x, so it's x minus 2, and then at the end it's going to be the square root of x minus 2, so the square root comes from f of x. So once we found our f of g of x, we're done, but then we have to find f of g of 6. So basically, you rewrite the problem again. f of g of 6 equals the square root of x minus 2. And x is going to become 6. So then it's the square root of 6 minus 2, which equals the square root of 4, which equals 2. And that's our answers. Our answers are f of g of x equals the square root of x minus 2, and f of g of 6 equals 2. So here's our second problem. Given that f of x equals 3x plus 2 and g of x is 1 half x minus 2, we have to find the compositions of f of g of x and g of f of x. Essentially, we're finding the same thing, just flip them. So first, to find a, we rewrite the problem f of g of x, and it's going to be, we're going to substitute um, the x in 3x plus 2 with g of x, so it's 3 times 1 half x minus 2 plus 2. And then we're going to distribute the 1 half to both sides. So it's 3 half of x. I have this, we're going to redistribute the 3, so it's 1.5x or 3 over 2x minus 3 plus 2. So f of g of x equals 3 halves, or 1.5x, mm, minus 3 plus 2. We're going to find g of f of x. So we're gonna, first, we always rewrite the problem, g of f of x. And we're basically going to do the same thing. So this time, it's going to be g um, 3x plus 2. And now we're going to add in the g of x, so then it's going to equal half of 3x plus 2 minus 2. So we can see from here, we can take out the 2s because they cancel out, so that cancels out. So then we're left with half of 3x, which equals gf of x. And we're done. Those are the two answers.
So our last problem that we're going to do is this one, and it says to find f of g of x and g of f of x, given that f of x is the square root of x plus 4 and g of x is x squared. It looks complicated, but it is. So first we have to find f of g of x, and we're going to plug in g of x, where x is for the f of x, so it's f of x squared. And it's going to turn to the square root of x squared plus 4. So that's our first one. And then the second one is, f of, is g of f of x. And we're going to write it as g, the square root of x plus 4, parentheses, which equals the square root of x plus 4, squared, and the squared comes from g of x. So then, to finish it off, the, square, the squared and the square root cancel out, so then you're left with x plus 4, so the answer is g f of x. And those are your two answers. things to remember. A composition of a function is basically combining two functions to form a whole function of one function with another. Also, f of g of x and g of f of x are equal and both represent identity functions. And here are some easy steps that you can remember. You first have to rewrite the problem and then your second step is replace x with g of x if you're given an f of g of x function or with f of x if you're given a g of f of x function. And then you just simplify.